In Cynthia Katahata's Cracker, the best dog in Vietnam, readers are immersed in a gripping tale of historical fiction set amidst the turmoil of the Vietnam War. At its heart lies the bond between Cracker, a remarkable dog, and her handler, Rick Honsky, offering a unique perspective on the challenges faced by military canines and their human counterparts. While primarily targeted at middle-grade readers, Katahata's narrative captivates audiences of all ages, providing both entertainment and valuable insights into the complexities of war. Through alternating viewpoints of the canine and human protagonists, Katahata sheds light on the crucial role played by military dogs during one of history's most tumultuous periods. Amidst the backdrop of Vietnam, the story delves into the triumphs and tragedies experienced by American soldiers, exploring themes of companionship, loyalty, ambition, and the harsh realities of conflict. The narrative unfolds as young Willie reluctantly bids farewell to his cherished companion, Cracker, forced to part ways due to family circumstances. Entrusted to the Army for service in Vietnam, Cracker embarks on a journey filled with uncertainty and apprehension. Meanwhile, Rick, a determined teenager seeking purpose beyond his small-town existence, finds himself unexpectedly paired with the formidable Cracker during military training. Initially met with resistance from the wary dog, Rick persists in forging a connection, gradually earning Cracker's trust through patience and understanding. Despite initial setbacks and challenges, Rick and Cracker's partnership evolves, ultimately showcasing the transformative power of camaraderie and resilience in the face of adversity. As their bond strengthens amidst the rigors of training, Rick and Cracker emerge as a formidable team, defying expectations and proving their worth on the battlefield. Through their shared experiences, Katahata masterfully depicts the indomitable spirit of soldiers and their loyal canine companions, highlighting the profound impact of friendship and sacrifice amidst the chaos of war. Rick finds himself admiring the strong bond between his friend Cody and Cody's loyal canine companion, Bruno, wishing for a similar connection with his own dog, Cracker. Alongside Cody, Rick also forms a close friendship with 2020, known for his perpetual eye-rolling. Together, Rick, Cody, and 20 forge a tight-knit group, mirrored by the companionship between their respective dogs, Cracker, Bruno, and Tristy. During a quiet evening, Rick shares a poignant moment with Cracker, releasing her from her enclosure to run freely under the moonlit sky. As they traverse the darkness together, Rick begins to realize Cracker's intelligence tempered by her stubborn nature. Their shared experiences lead to improvements in their training, despite the relentless criticism from their sergeant, U-Haul. Undeterred, Rick boldly asserts his determination to succeed alongside Cracker, declaring, Cracker and I are going to conquer the world. Their journey takes them to the bustling streets of former Saigon, now Ho Chi Minh City, a whirlwind of activity and unfamiliar sights and sounds. Arriving at an army base, devoid of proper infrastructure, Rick takes charge, organizing the construction of shelters for the canine companions. Embarking on their first significant mission, Rick and Cracker lead a sizable contingent through treacherous territory, where Cracker's keen senses prove invaluable in detecting hidden dangers and enemy presence. Their success earns them the respect of their comrades, many of whom owe their lives to Cracker's vigilance and Rick's leadership. Rick's abilities are further recognized when he is selected for a high-risk special forces operation in Cambodia, a testament to the trust placed in him by his superiors, including the unexpectedly supportive U-Haul. Throughout their missions, Cracker's unwavering loyalty and sharp instincts saved countless lives, cementing her status as an indispensable asset. However, amidst the triumphs, tragedy strikes as Twenty sustains severe injuries and Tristy, his faithful companion, is tragically lost. Amidst the chaos of battle, Rick confronts the harsh realities of war, grappling with loss and mortality. Their journey continues into a village fraught with challenges, including Cracker's persistent prey drive, particularly towards chickens, posing a constant distraction in their mission. Despite the obstacles, Rick and Cracker press on, united in their determination to fulfill their duty amidst the turmoil of war. Due to this uncertainty, Rick finds himself grappling with the interpretation of Cracker's cues, questioning whether she's indicating the presence of the chickens. Conversely, Cracker grows increasingly perplexed by Rick's apparent disregard for her warnings, sensing lurking danger and detecting hidden humans nearby. Just as Rick begins to grasp the gravity of Cracker's signals, chaos erupts in a sudden burst of gunfire. Tragically, Rick's comrade, Raphael, falls victim to the violence, while Rick himself sustains a grievous leg injury from flying shrapnel. In the ensuing pandemonium, Cracker bolts, 
leaving Rick desperately calling out for her as he's prepped for evacuation. Waking up in a hospital bed, Rick's thoughts immediately turn to finding his beloved companion. With unwavering determination, he launches a relentless campaign to locate Cracker, reaching out to every contact he can muster, from hospital staff to military personnel. A glimmer of hope emerges when Rick receives a photo of a gaunt Cracker in the jungle, reigniting his resolve to bring her home. Eventually discharged from both the army and the hospital, Rick returns to Wisconsin, haunted by thoughts of Cracker and the uncertainty of her fate. Meanwhile, Cracker embarks on a harrowing journey through miles of wilderness and human settlements, tirelessly searching for her lost partner. Eventually, she stumbles upon an old military base, only to find it deserted as the U.S. forces withdraw. Recognizing her as an army dog, American soldiers take her to a base in Saigon, where she joyously reunites with Bruno, Cody's faithful companion. Back in Wisconsin, Rick's anguish over Cracker's absence weighs heavily on him, exacerbated by the harsh reception he receives from some upon his return. However, a glimmer of hope emerges when Cody informs him of Cracker's discovery and impending return to America, albeit with the heartbreaking news of Bruno's fate. Overwhelmed with relief and joy, Rick rushes to the airport to welcome Cracker home, accompanied by Willie and his family, who lovingly bid farewell to their former pet. Grateful for Willie's role in Cracker's journey, Rick presents him with his dog tags as a token of appreciation. With Cracker safely by his side once more, Rick sets his sights on a fresh start in Boston, where he secured a new home for them both. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.